Hello, this is Greg Bem, one of the librarians from Spokane Community College. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to access GPTs or the customizations of ChatGPT that are available through the GPT interface within ChatGPT. I'm currently in the plus account for ChatGPT in the web browser. And so this might look slightly different if you have the free version. Note that if you have the free version, you can access GPTs. You just cannot create your own. All right, let's get started. On the left-hand side of the screen, you will notice this icon here, the four dots, and the link to explore GPTs. I'm going to click on this, and it's going to load the GPT screen. This is a very minimal marketplace screen that looks much like an app store, Android, Apple, Microsoft, and so on. You can search for GPTs using the search bar, or you can browse GPTs by the top picks and then variety of categories as designed by OpenAI, the team behind ChatGPT. Note that there are curated top picks for the week at the top, trending GPTs or customizations below, and these are made by members of the GPT community. Those that were created by ChatGPT team, including the famous DALI, and then all of the different categories as listed above, writing, productivity, research and analysis, education, lifestyle, programming. At the top of the screen, I'm going to search for research. As you can see, when we see all of these GPTs, they tell us a little bit about what they do with their description, who's created them, and how many people have had conversations with them. The total number of conversations ranging from 1 million to tens of thousands to even 900 plus. So the whole spectrum of use. Let's scroll down to some of the popular image generating GPTs. Now remember, these are ChatGPT versions that were created with customization by community members. I'm going to click on Image Generator. Image Generator is described as a GPT specializing in generating and refining images with a mix of professional and friendly tone. 3.6, number one in the DALI customization, and 6 million people have, or 6 million conversations have had, been had with this GPT. There are a variety of conversation starters listed here, and then there are more GPTs by the same author listed below. Let's start a chat. So we don't know anything much about this GPT, and we don't know how it differs from DALI, but it does provide a variety of options for creating images. To start, let's skip over those prompts and ask for a pastoral scene in rural Japan, something that is also sci-fi, watercolor, fast. Let's see what it does with this prompt. Similar with Dali, it will take a few moments to generate the image. While it's generating, let me point out that there's the stop button. And here is the image provided with a description of the image. Here is the pastoral scene in rural Japan with a sci-fi twist, depicted in watercolor. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to add or adjust. From here, we can add, ask it to do some refining. As it suggested in its description, please refine to make black and white. Make the contrast heavier. Now, Dali was not able to really recreate the same image with subtle refinements. And I don't imagine that Image Generator will be able to do the same as well. But let's see what it does. Well, I'll be. It isn't identical, but it certainly is black and white with heavier contrast. It still features these huts, as in the original, with the interesting skyscrapers in the background, as well as a planet and some star crafts. Slightly different, but also very similar. 
So I guess it is able to do more refining than I was expecting. Now that we've seen one GPT in action, I'm going to quickly show you the creating a GPT screen. So if we click on our icon and we click on my GPTs, we don't have any GPTs yet, but we do have the ability to create a GPT. When you click on that, you will be taken to the new GPT draft. You have the ability to create following prompts as well as configure. Really, the back end of this GPT is all of these different fields filled out. To create a GPT, we'll need a name, description, instructions, which are incredibly important for this process, conversation starters, and optionally, you can upload files to help inform and instruct and constrain how you want this GPT to operate. Additionally, there are quote unquote capabilities that this GPT can or could be limited to using. Web browsing or actively searching the web is one of them, turned on by default. Image generation using DALI technology, also turned on by default. And code interpreter and data analysis, not turned on by default. Then there's the ability to create a new action. Creating actions are the most advanced component of this. This is where you would be able to connect this interface using an API to other interfaces allowing you to essentially get the power and abilities of third-party apps directly in ChatGPT. As you explore some of the custom GPTs that people have created, you will see that a lot of the third-party apps are pivotal in making GPTs unique. But you don't need to use a third-party app to create a GPT. Think of creating a GPT that is specific to a task or workflow that you have or with a specific outcome or goal in mind. With that, I'm going to end this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Let us know if you have any questions or need help.